Hey, what's happening? It's ya, boa, go, de. Smell good. If you enjoy smelling good, you're in the right place to be. All my returning subscribers, appreciate y'all. All my new viewership and subscribers, appreciate y'all. Rocking with me, for real. We have a very special video today, guys. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Unboxings are like my favorite uh, videos to do. This is a fragrance that I actually found at my local Burlington's that I did uh, feature. In my Burlington's video, this is the first time I've ever seen this fragrance man from this house. This is a fantastic house. They do a great job. There hasn't been one that I got my nose on from this house that smelled bad, so they're all pretty much safe to me. And that's from guests. And this is guest number three, originals. Guest three type, originals. This is maybe like a separate line. I wouldn't really say it's a private line because the price is still pretty much the same as the other ones, $19.99. But uh, I'm excited about this one, man. This is tobacco and amber wood, so we're gonna take it out the plastic in real time, you know. How y'all doing, man? Y'all all right? Cool, cool, cool. Be cool, man. You know what I'm talking about? Smell good. Relax. Enjoy yourself. You know. Hope that wasn't too loud. You can never know how the uh, volume is sometimes until after the video is over with. As far as uh, the packaging noise. But listen. Open them up. And it's guys. It's oh. De parfum. The EDP is for me. <laughs> so it looks in there. We're gonna take them out really quick. I like that cap already. Oh, look at that juice color. It's over. Guys, where that juice color is present is also a good time. It's it's already over. I'm already knowing I'm gonna like this man. Awesome. Alright. Okay. Plastic cap, but it's got some decent little weight to it. It got a good good paint on it, man. Look at the paint on there, man. Candy silver, baby. Live. You know what I'm talking about? I like that, guys. These top, these style bottles, they go up like that in this level and stages. All right, guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put them on my test strip first. I'm going to put them on, on skin as well, okay? But here's a sprayer. Mm, good distribution. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This fragrance right here is perfect for fall. Man, it kind of has that that uh, I have Latafa tobacco, which is the inspiration of Dior tobacco. Lord, I'm just getting that off top. I'm not saying they smell similar, but they do got that same vibe. Gonna we'll put them on paper, let them dry down a little bit. Yeah, no. Let that boy dry, then we're gonna put them on skin as well. Good distribution, man, on that sprayer. That's damn good. Gonna we'll let them dry a little bit. See what he. Oh, hold up. Wow. Magnetic cap. Guys, you, if you don't think they watch and do their research, I would have found why because they believe all the EDTs are trash performance, which is a misnomer, but it's out here now. The EDTs are gone. If I was making fragrance, I wouldn't put an EDT out there because eventually you're just going to crap on, oh, it didn't, didn't last 16 hours. I can't speak to past 12 hours because I shower, guys, so 12 hours is the longest talking point I can go. But listen, magnetic cap, guys. So they're going magnetic cap. They understand that we're into, you know, the atomizers putting out a good amount of juice, and it did. You saw it for yourself. And a magnetic cap. That's nice. That's always nice, man. So let's see what he's doing on paper. Sweet. Sweet fire. I'm getting a boozy accord, man. I'm getting like a, it's almost like a boost. Sometimes, you know, fragrances like this can do that because I know vanilla is here and I'm gonna go over the notes as well. This is smooth, man. This is a smooth fall tobacco vanilla. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna do a little bit more, man. 
Yeah, no. I like it though, guys. I like it. So far, so good. You know, I can't speak to performance, but uh, it's an EDP. It should last. You know, um, I think in 1999, uh, performance shouldn't be the first word out your mouth. Just overspray it, man. Maybe I'm a dumbass and I don't get it. I don't know. That's just my mindset. Just overspray it. It's 19 bucks, but I'm sure it gets good performance even outside of that because of the style of fragrance it is. That juice color, tobacco, vanilla up in there. All right, here we go, guys. It's marketed unisex. I actually can see that. I actually can see that because, again, like when I first sprayed it, I instantly got La Tapa Tobacco, the old Tobacco Lore inspiration, which is a unisex fragrance. I instantly got that. So it's actually unisex, believe it or not. Link tees. You can wear this, baby. All right. So the top notes, we have tobacco leaf, bergamot, and mandarin orange. In the mid, tonka bean, saffron, tobacco, and rose. Oh boy, this is one heck of a fragrance, guys. <laughs> and in the bottom, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. Musk, not musk. And some of the accords, vanilla. And the accords is really kind of almost what matters. Not all the time. Sometimes the accords can be off. You know, I got my nose on the new Killian. Um, Old fashioned, it does smell old fashioned. It smells like an old man. I'm talking, you know, at least 50 years old and up, a little stuffy, a little stale. It did smell handsome, but it's marketed unisex. I cannot see a woman pulling off that fragrance. But this right here, the main accord, and then one of the chords they had on was sweet on the old fashioned, but I didn't really, I didn't get a lot of sweetness from it, you know, but um, you never know. but. The main accord is vanilla, warm, spicy, tobacco, sweet, powdery, all good, woody, amber. Metallic, I'm not really a big metallic guy. I don't want to smell like steel and metal. Okay, aromatic, musky. So those are the accords on it. Guys, this is a solid fragrance, man. Solid fragrance. It, it feels like it's gonna. Now it's also putting me in mind of the guest 1981 Los Angeles. That vibe, warm, spicy, fall winter fragrance. Seems like it's going to sit closer to skin. It's not blasting off my hand. It's definitely going to sit closer to skin, which is fine, which is cool. I see this as a Netflix and chill all day. Amazon Prime and chill. You watch my favorite whatever and chill. I'm seeing that all day i'm gonna wear this man and this one because it doesn't seem like it's just super loud with the tobacco the tobacco is is, is blended well it's not just like you know you're gonna smell like you know a, a tobacco field or anything like that it's not that strong it's <laughs> it's doing the damn thing on this paper man it's more fresher than i would have thought so it's got a great element of freshness. This is an awesome fragrance that actually this can go um, spring, temperature-wise. Man, this is pretty good, guys. Fresh, subtle, sweet with the tobacco. And I'm gonna wear it today. I will come back and do updates just as far as, you know, wearing experience. How was my wearing experience? How it did throughout the day. I like it, guys. For 20 bucks. Not bad at all. <laughs> it's, it's, getting, it's warming up on my skin. It's getting better. With the sheen, it's getting better and better. Good job, guess. You have not let me down yet. But listen, thank, I bet you that'll later with the vanilla potion. And it's the potion in the ocean. But listen, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch my video. It's greatly appreciated. On the way out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share your boy, because sharing is caring, and go, these going global. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.